Mighty Number no. Nine exists. Yeah, Mighty Number no. Nine is here to save us. Mighty Number no. Nine. Yes. This game is out. It's basically how do it's we? It's basically do... plagiarism. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the best time. Dude, it's him going. I need my spiritual closure right. with Mega Man. Absolutely. And you watch the video, dude, and yeah. I had so many. Feels uh -huh. like my heartstrings were being tugged, and then he walks by this girl that's dressed like Roll in real life, and yeah. he's like, he's seeing little glimpses of his past, but he can't do anything with them because they're yeah. owned by Capcom. Now. Right. Mm -hmm. And then in the end, you're like, okay, I'll totally give you my money, KG. Let's do it. And then he's sitting on the bench and he fades away, and I'm like, no, don't die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Come back. Come back. No. You can I, have my money! I can imagine KJ, like, he's just walking away in slow motion while he's chasing him. <laughs> right? It was so sad, and I was like, I'm backing this immediately! It was, it was it, 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 Everyone it, did in 24 hours. It yes. was funded to its full 900 So, uh, Mighty Number no. 9 is for anybody who has not seen it, or because we're not being super clear, mm -hmm. it's Mega Man. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. Mega Man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, and this is the perfect time for Mega him Man. to do this yeah. Kickstarter. Because Capcom's mishandling of Mega Man and the, it's been it's been the, unfortunate. It's been the worst thing I've ever seen a, ca a character go through that I care about, mm. which is weird to say. And and some of it is not their mishandling as much as it is just bad luck. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. it's still it's the, been the public. It's been a bad time for Mega that it's Man. Rough. Absolutely. Yeah. And and frankly, when you see it like this, it's so faithful and spiritually like there that you're like. Will he even get away with this? Right. <laughs> we don't know if like, this is going to get okay. The first thing I saw about this was a screenshot of of Mighty Number no. Nine running and shooting. Beck. His name's Beck. Beck, whatever. And I I, I didn't look at the Kickstarter until uh, right. now. Should have called it Jump and Shoot Man. Shut, right. And I saw the screenshot and like from a glance, it's like it's new Mega Man. Get and like, yeah. no, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> but like, like it's that close. It's that close that I. What? Yeah. Uh, Beck to me, like when I saw him, I was like, "Whoa, this is like it's a Mega Man redesign." Like, like mm. you know, because they redesign Mega yeah, Man every yeah, other yeah. year. I thought it might be like a Battle Network, Network thing. like a redesign. Mm. And like yeah. you look at Call, and Call is just like a roll redesign. If you didn't get that, by the way, Rock and Roll, Beck and Call. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wow. interesting. Rock Man and Roll. I didn't Beck get the Beck and, and Call. call. I didn't exactly. Get that. I thought he just like Beck. No, it's Beck yeah, and man. Call. Yeah, one of your weapons is folk singing. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so like the big difference is that Beck can like. Uh, transform his body into different things, Weapons. like yeah. he's mechanized. He's got a vanquish gun. His bits come apart. Oh, nice! Kind, yeah. but it's his whole body. Sure. And he turned like in the concept art, he turned into like a big hammer and yeah. like yeah. a little yeah. conveyor belt robot. And stuff. Um, <laughs> uh, I just wanted to really quickly jump in. Is that oh, I looked really quickly at all the rewards for uh, uh, Mighty Number no. Nine, and I was like, I want a reward where it's like get your own joke into the game, and I want Beck to go. I got your power, and then a robot boss just punches him in the fucking face, like <laughs> Pharaoh Man does in the Mega Man. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta get that in there. It's somehow. Mega Man's greatest moment. It and is. Dude, that, even the video opens on like going up the building yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. And like, yeah. I usually am not a fan of Kickstarter videos that don't show any gameplay. Right, but man. Oh this man, one, like, they well, pulled me in. When it shows the list of everyone that works on it, it's like, oh, this is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the, it, the 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 level designer from Mega Man Two is working on it. Okay, well. shut up and take all my. Yeah. It, it's, it's a Send weird it. thing because so much of this is trading on something that I, I didn't think that would hit me and it's just man I really care about Mega Man yes yeah. like I was really upset when stuff not even when stuff was cancelled but just was like yeah, we're maybe we're not doing. So it's like it, it hurts me. Well, I think it's, it's I get less sad. Than, it's just the absence of Mega yeah. Man. Yeah, and like the absence of a lot of characters. I love days. Mega Man. Kind of and the thing is, there's no. It's impossible that a person just doesn't like or care about Mega Man. <laughs> they care about one version of him. Yeah, or one yeah. entry into the franchise in one way, shape, or form. You care about yeah. X, or you care right. about. Right, but Battle this Network core, Rock. true, original no rock version is the one that represents them all. So. Yeah. You know, whatever your age group, whatever series you started on, absolutely, right? Yeah. It it all matters, man. Mm -hmm. and um, it looks fantastic. <laughs> so please, everyone, please stop posting the the no, Kickstarter no, yeah. on our wall. We know we don't need it. Like the, the 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 twenty hit combo of like dude just back to back posting my yeah, number yeah, nine. Yeah. We're aware, mm -hmm. guys. Yeah. Thank you. We read stuff on the internet really <laughs> aggressively. Yeah. <laughs> also, I'm really happy to see that 
uh, at least one of every single tier has been filled, including dinner with yeah, KG. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh man, and he's going like to the CEO, and he's going to go know, there. You know who took that dinner. tier? Ben Judd. Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> it's like I got an idea for a Bionic Commander game, right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh uh, man! So yeah, that's that's what's going on, and super funded, right? That's all that's going yep. on this okay. week. Uh, <laughs> it needs two million to get like ports to everything, <laughs> which which is which they're not I talking about at all, right? Which they're no, gonna they get. They're gonna get it. Got nine hundred thousand dollars in, 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 in like yeah. twenty two hours. No, yeah. Yeah. this is like, like wasn't it like thirty some odd hours to get fully funded? Oh, okay, it's thirty hours. But like it was twenty four. <laughs> like but this is like Project Eternity money. Like people care. People really, really care. No, like again, someone was like, "I got 10k to burn on Mega Man." Yeah. You, know? you telling us <laughs> it, everyone? Are you telling me that if I pay you ten thousand dollars, you can bring back Mega Man's ghost in a new body? Here's my money. Uh, yeah. Mighty number nine. Mm -hmm. I finally put some time into it. How far did you get in the end? I remember you played a little. Thirty-four bit. minutes. Okay. It only counts game time, I think, in the, in the, yep. the well, thing. I'm talking about Steam. So, oh, the Steam counter. Okay. Uh, yeah, never mind. I can, I can tag in here because I beat it this week. Okay, cool. good. So I played it for 34 minutes. I don't want to ever play it again. Ever. I tried five times to give this game a shot. I hate it so much. Did I don't think it's the worst game in the world. And I don't think that it's particularly poorly made even on the PC at least. Right? Where it runs fine and... I hate the way Beck looks. I hate the way Beck jumps. I hate, hate with every fiber of my being that Sounding dash like mechanic. Sounding like AM what, over what, here. What Mega Man's do you like? Two, three, four, five, even six. X1, X2, X4. You know the good ones? The good ones. And as I was playing it, and I remember you guys saying, well, it's not as bad as X7. It's like, yeah. Okay. No. <laughs> Of course it's not. <laughs> Nothing's as bad as X7. Maybe Umbrella Core. But like that, that like the core of it is that dash mechanic is the worst. The worst. I hate it so much. Wow. I, I, it's really divisive, the dash mechanic. I, I, like, I have fun with that. I think the dash is one of the better parts. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, this is where I'm trying to hold it back. Yeah, yeah. All I'll say is you're crazy. Okay. Because that dash thing is the worst. Fuck killing enemies. Nah. You can just kill them. Just keep shooting. Yeah, but what? I, like, <laughs> the, the, combine that with the fucking thing. Your bullets disappear at the edge of the fucking screen. That's bullshit. Like, it's, see, it feels bad to fight enemies. See, I think the dash is fine in like another game where it wasn't like saying, Hey, it's kind of a Me Mega Man spiritual successor. If it was really its own game, like if the dash mechanic was the main <coughs> oh, mechanic me. of Azura striker gun vault instead of what it has, which I honestly forget what it has. Oh, God. It, 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 has, so it, has, it has stand and electrify yeah. stand in first if, stand and fry. If the dash yeah. mechanic was placed there, I'd be like, Hey, that's kind of cool. But when you're trying to make a spiritual Mega Man successor and you have this like new feature, right? And you're like, okay, that's kind of cool, but it's like that that clashes with how you think modern Mega Man would is, which is just shoot and whatever. And it seems more like a special move, like a special boss move yeah. that you would get on occasion. Like I think it I, works better in that context. I tend to disagree. I think the dash is one of the most fondly remembered things Mega Man can do. But not no. killing enemies. Uh, the dash no, is different. Hold on. I, I, just mean, like, I would like to make some correction, yeah. and it's something that you and Willie have talked a, a lot about, but you've never made the distinction. It's one of the fun. It, the, the dash is one of the most fun things that Mega Man. X. Sorry, I said do. Mega Man because I'm including X and Zero and well, a variety I, I, of Mega I, Man. I find a very big distinction between those two things, and that's part of the reason why well, I hate this sorry, so much. No, I know the original can't, but I meant Zero and yeah. X. Yeah, you get like, I didn't just mean one Mega the, Man. Yeah. Original. Like, yeah, but a lot like, of Mega Man I, I wasn't dash. even yeah. referring to that. I was just referring to the ability to... The, the main like, gimmick is and, to kill and, enemies with the dash, not an X dash, which is usually meant just for and mobility. And so, that. like, on top of the, the way I hate that it controls, like, I, I think that it looks terrible and i remember thinking back like it, it, it must have you know i remember there were early uh, things that looked different but I, I forgot how different they look so i went back to the kickstarter and i looked at that very off repeated like screenshot concept design and that looks like a million times better but all of that that's like pure concept art but mm -hmm. underneath that piece of concept art is a bunch of mock-up screenshots that all look way, way better than than. But this I mean, game. it's all 
you know concept as well. So I don't yeah. care. The the, the mock up screenshots sure. looked way incredible compared to the final product. Yeah, I'll say that. Uh, I'll also say that uh, now, like after and and so did the beat, concept video. Having beaten it, um, I will say that the okay. So the bullet disappearing thing um, and the crowded enemy group where you can't actually dash in because you still have unshot enemies there and you can't hit them because they're in the group becomes more of a problem to uh, later on in the game I, I actually never i noticed it but i literally never had a problem with the bullets disappearing like i'm i'm really struggling to think of a situation where it's a problem it like i i, I noticed it mm -hmm. and i thought it was weird but like it i never had a problem because of it's it. it's for me it just it was annoying because it's not something that would happen uh it, it's not something i'm used to happening and i would want to shoot things from that far away you know or the, or like have something that's sure. like going into the screen i have some cover there and whatnot it kind of depends the, on how wired your brain is to Mega Man or games that are similar like if you want to shoot something from that distance like it does feel off if it's not happening for whatever reason and if and it's a, a bug or a design yeah i know and, and in old Mega Man games there was a there was a distance but like it would just it would be a lot it was a lot further but mm -hmm. in any case um the the thing though where the crowded enemies are there and some of them are stuck in the middle where they're uh, waiting to be absorbed and the others are, are still healthy. That happens a lot more towards the end. And like in the last stages, I noticed that some of the like difficulty of like the waves they'd send at you was based on that. Mm. So that got really annoying. Um, but uh, outside of that, though, I think, again, there's still some really fun stuff. Hey, um, do you remember in the Kickstarter how they said that Beck was going to transform into different forms? What's the powers? deal with that? I never followed up on why that? that was that, that just got cut, yeah. Oh, okay. It just wasn't working out, apparently. No, instead they replaced... Well, which, what was it? Uh, he would transform so he turn his body. Like, he could turn into like a hammer or a... Like drill. In, or instead a, of a just having... The, I, I don't even remember Instead of just that. switching to a power, his body would change and then Become he would a do thing. Okay. So do you remember... No, that's gone. Okay, instead, just dash through these enemies in a terrible feeling fashion and get a random power up. Hey, Liam... What does the yellow do? They're not random, by the way, but I don't know. I don't know what the yellow Oh, you don't does. know what the yellow does? Okay. That's like kind of besides the point that no, I don't I know. No, I think what it, it actually is like part of the point where like core, part of the core gameplay is based around these power ups and no one's been able to tell me what the yellow one does. The, the yellow one doesn't like nobody feels like it matters. So why is it there? Because it probably does do something that matters. Maybe it just raises your points or some shit. I have there's, no fucking clue. Do, do you see what I'm saying here, though? Kind of, but the blue and the red ones are really important to playing. Yeah, you know? get and rid like, of them. Make the game play well. And, I, 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 oh. There's a whole lot of tips that I definitely didn't read on that tip screen. That's for sure. Um, and uh, I did. I went back after, Liam, you told me about the, the R2 button. And yeah. started using those and stuff. And uh, the jump back was useful, but I couldn't figure out the other one. And I was looking for a tip on it, and there wasn't any. R two and square. R two and square. Yeah. Together, so that that like do I couldn't. It didn't work, or no, I couldn't find it a uh, place in the game that told me how to do that. I was looking for the tip screen. Oh, it's in the controls. Uh, in the controls, it says R two is um, XL movement or something like that. Yeah. But it just it just says it's R two, right? And the fact that you have to sort of combine it wasn't mentioned anywhere i mean isn't that the first thing anyone does when they pick up a game is press all the buttons you know but not all the so what i did was what i did was what i did was I, I pressed it with the jump and i got like the jump back and i was like okay that's useful and then i was trying to and then i remember you said something about a diagonal shot and I was yeah like, where how what and i couldn't um until it's like yeah you get that that combo that is that becomes super useful in certain circumstances mm -hmm. for sure though uh one thing i will say is the upon beating it uh, the r playing as Ray is a lot more fun. Ray's really enjoyable. I think so. Ray's a lot more fun, and it's a lot a, a, a much different paced game, and you have to kind of rush down to stay alive and stuff. And mm -hmm. I think that um, it's it's weird in that like Ray feels like very different, and like I wish Beck felt more like Ray. Yeah, um, I get you. I wish Beck I, felt more like Mega Man. What did What did you feel about the final boss fight, though? Oh, uh, um, yeah, I, I, I didn't feel it was that bad. Uh, I mean, what a great boss! It was, it was, it just, it was kind of like a lame Sigma, you know. Uh, but I kind of, I totally forgot that there was that whole video about about the fighting it and shit like that, and it just, it didn't strike me as anything un Mega Man like. I, I think we've seen mm -hmm. giant Sigma type bosses like that before. It was just. 
you know I, I did I, it was it it's a weird away, thing because I, I guess I'm I kind of like fucked myself over because I watched that video and yeah. I was like I don't want to fight this so I'll not can, like you also, know what I mean I, I, it's I like saw... seeing it's like knowing a, bo- a final boss was not going to be very memorable or very great so then you're like well I don't because you sometimes hope like oh man I hope that they nail the ending there's a awesome fight where it, like everything kind of works and clicks and it's awesome and satisfying and whatever and you're just watching this thing just be the one of the most tedious fights i've seen in like like lately not saying it's the worst fight ever but i'm just like i don't want to fight i that. i also like like as far as like causing damage on it and shit like that goes like switching to the grenadier option kind of really trivialized it so i didn't really feel the grind for too long because the moment i saw like okay my bullets are doing this i'm gonna switch to the explosion and it kind of like made yeah it, the powers do a lot against them it made it it made it a lot easier of a fight um yeah, I don't know. In the end, I was like, yeah, that's a Sigma thing. That's one of the, you know, it's one of the less interesting Sigma forms. But uh, it's it's like uh, the way I feel about the whole thing in general is summed up almost in the way I felt about that fight where it's like, this is just one of the more mediocre Mega Man X games. Doesn't it's, that mean it's an abysmal failure? Uh, No, because abysmal failure would be like a bad game that I'd never want to play. You mean like this game? That's what I, I don't that's think. That's not how Wooly feels. That's not what though. I think this You're is. You're projecting. I, no, I, I, that, that I, was unfair. It's un- fine that you don't like it. That, that was I'm unfair, I'll, I'll admit. But it's just like, I can't understand this mentality of spending all this time and all this money and it's okay because it's not terrible. I regret. I feel that's like a, a crazy lowering of standards. I'm just, I'm just, I'm saying in a white room, right? Because the I I fully totally agree that once you take what this is supposed to spiritually be mm-hmm. and you take the weight of its circumstances and apply it to the situation, mm-hmm. it gets a lot worse. Yeah, I agree. However, in a white room as a video game in a console with a controller in my hands, it's one of the games that's like I'd rather have not. I, like I, when it comes to like X Seven, when it comes to you know, uh, uh, the, the, okay, some of the need, worst ones. Need, no, that's absurd. I hate that mentality. Like, it's not as bad as the worst ones, therefore no, it's no, no, okay. No, 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 that's, no. That's not where I was going. Well, well, do you remember that's last not where week I was going, we said though. it was, like, as good as, like, five, five or so. stuff. Like, where I was we going, weren't saying it was just better than where I, the worst. Where I was going was, I remember when I played five and I was like, ah, you know, this isn't as good as four. Mm-hmm. I was bummed out by it, but... It was at the end. I was like, "It's still, it was still a, a fine game." You know, mm-hmm. I, I didn't okay. walk away from it going like, "God damn well, it!" Well, here's here's where I'm at. It doesn't exist in a white room, and it does have that context. Ben has the different context of I helped make this happen, mm. and I wish I hadn't mm. because we would be better without with, this game with, because it sucks. I didn't even get to talk about all the stuff. I, the story. Everyone constantly stopping to talk to you and fucking up the flow of the level. Stop. I don't want to talk to you, Dr. Brown, or the fuck your name is. Your design is terrible. All of your designs are terrible, except for, uh, except for um, uh, her, what, call. The, the enemy designs are pretty good. The boss designs and stuff? Yeah, some of the bosses. They're, are, I, I, the I saw are... Pyrogen, and he seems fine. Well, I, like, if, I like Brand. You're, you're saying in a white room... If before all the Kickstarter crap happened, whatever, if the Kickstarter launched with the exact same beta demo, I would have instantly backed down because I, I would never. I would never. When I played that again. beta, I was like, "This is not great. I don't like this," and that's like I was just kind of done with it at that point. Mm-hmm. So even without all the Kickstarter drama, it's the opposite of Bloodstain, mm-hmm. where Bloodstain could not be more early, and that automatically feels better and more true to its roots and if this if the beta demo had been put like within like i don't know let's say not even at the kickstarter but like maybe even a month after it concluded Mm -hmm. i'd still would have been like this is not like i don't have a lot of hope for this because it's already feeling not great to me personally and on on a, and on I, a core level of like the white room discussion like even if i go there like even if the campaign had been top to bottom like a plus like no weird red ash no weird mm-hmm. uh, the shenanigans like i would still have a very serious problem with the way this game turned out because over and over and over they go classic mega man classic mega man classic mega man and there's no mention of the dash anywhere on that page 
It is never mentioned. You mean during the Kickstarter campaign? During the Kickstarter campaign. Oh, kick the word dash is not on that page. I don't know. And guess what? I don't want that fucking shitty dash. I want to play a fucking Mega Man game where I jump and shoot and my fucking bullets don't disappear and I don't have to get a green power up to make it feel like I'm moving properly. Yeah, I, like I said, on the dash thing, I think I, I like the dash, so I'm, I'm going to disagree there. But I like, okay, on its own. Because like dashing the, is fun. On, dash on, on its is own, fun. I like the dash. But with the enemy suck up mechanic, I hate it. Hmm. Well, you know. Fucking hate it. It's, uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I, when I played that, that first level demo of it and I was like, yeah, okay. I feel what this is going to be. And I was like, yeah, that's fine. I, 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 I remember that, mm-hmm. that first demo being what it was. And I, I should have. It didn't bother me. I should have played that demo way back so I could have been shitting on the game the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's so deliciously you. Oh, my For God. Why? I, I, oh, man. Because it sucks. Be- because, because he was cheated to out get, of months of get, anger. To get more shit in there. To, to get, <laughs> like, to fill it to get more, like, because like, like, now yeah, every okay. time it comes up or any time yeah. Inafune it's, comes up or Recore comes up, I'm going to shit all over money number nine Here's, because he fucking took my money and made a piece of shit. All it is is the opposite of when someone goes, oh, I really lament not being on board with this sooner because it's so good. I would love to have had those extra months of joy. Yeah, it's, the, op- it's the opposite. It's that. It's which that. I still understand yeah, yeah. in I a think, different way. Uh, I think uh, it's fair to say that, like, based on especially how, like, Bloodstain is, like, you know, like Killing shaping it. up and yeah, really, yeah. really well and shit like that. Like with history on our side, when you're doing something that's like an homage to a classic thing uh, that has like tons of entries, the thing that you can make now in 2016 with again history on your side should be the best version of it, if not like leaps and bounds ahead, right? Like you know, it's so, way better than Mighty Number no. Nine, Mega Man Nine and Ten. So it's a it's a super disappointment when yeah the 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 new thing is not absolutely killing it on a level that the old ones didn't you know that mm. should be the case for sure and and i know i'm 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 being hyperbolic pat and all that of course like i get it but like Quite clearly but no but th- i really hate this game like mm. i hate playing yeah. it i i really wanted to beat at least three or four levels possibly beat it before the podcast so that i wouldn't be like the uninformed opinion and the knee jerk thing, and I kept loading it up. I loaded it up like four or five different times, and I started to play through Pyrogen's level, and I got like upset, like fuck this game, upset over how much I don't like everything about the movement and the look and the like. Oh, I mean, at, can't the, at the end it. of the day, like. I always kind of think there's other projects like this one. It could have been this one. It could have been another one that would like maybe didn't really nail it. But, you know, one of them wasn't going to from because yeah. there's been lots of Kickstarter like crowdfunding disasters from like a technical level. Yeah, the, Kickstarter yeah. failed, the sun like, told me to the, stop the money. Yeah. The sun told me to stop. And <laughs> Which is always like, going to be the winner. This ah, is like the first one. one that I think like generally people can consider. Yeah, it's divisive at the very at the very least. But like at least there is like other stuff to at least yeah. go yeah well that didn't mm-hmm. work out whatever this couldn't work out but at least bloodstains looking cool at least ukulele uh, uh hands-on demos at e3 were like this is fucking fantastic but and I like blah, 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 on blah. like a moral level there's also a problem i have with this game and that i got really excited for it and we talked about how excited we were for mm-hmm. it people very, look back mm-hmm. at on the very first said. podcast mm-hmm. and i probably had like somebody knew about it because of me or you know because i talked about it or because i said it, it looked good and i put money into it so, like, I am tangentially responsible for other people's disappointment, and mm. that makes me feel like shit. Yeah, I am now an accomplice in other yeah, people's disappointment. Yeah, I think, you know, I think, I think that that's also hyperbolic. Pads going to the extreme there. I think that you know, I'm, I'm, def- I'm if, bummed if out. I, if I told somebody to eat a sandwich place and they got salmonella, I would feel bad. You didn't say that. You didn't say eat at the sandwich place. You put twenty dollars down on this thing. You didn't know if it was going to be good I, or not. If, if I, was, if I talked about how excited I was and how much I loved this sandwich place, and <laughs> I'm someone so excited and, about so, this and someone went down there to eat on my like enthusiasm and got oh, sick, God. I would still feel bad. So do you? That, does that mean conversely that you feel good because you helped make Shovel Knight good? Yes. Huh. Yeah, that's weird. No, I don't. I don't see it that way at all. Yeah. I don't see it that way at all. Hey, you, didn't I, ma- you put the money in. I got some at the was, sandwich yeah. place. Oh, it's better than nothing. You, you helped make this thing a reality. You are in, it tangentially responsible for whatever percentage of that 
it's like good or bad. It. Yes, yeah, that's ridiculous. I'm, I'm a call. You know, how did, how did you re- make Shovel Knight better? I gave them money so they could no. Add how more did features. you make it better? What did? How much money did you put in? I put uh, Shovel Knight. I believe I put in like forty dollars. What did your forty dollars do to make it better specifically? Well, it paid for one or two people to work for one or two hours to polish up or make something better. <laughs> At least okay. are you are you okay? Say, so no, no, no. Wait, oh, so saying. so I shouldn't have donated it. It wouldn't have made a difference. So I oh so no one's pledge made a difference unless no, no. they it's the sum that makes a difference yes and One that person responsibility is parceled out amongst those people uh me and woolly made H- it how can you say you anyone made the, any individual fight. made the game better you know liam, like, yeah barring we can we barring, can take that liam take Matt, that. you and i can take liam this. came up with some core uh, are, ideas are you, are you saying that if there is if there is a road in front of you and I pour so my late, bottle of water out through. on that road, <laughs> along yeah, with guys, stuff. No, a hundred thousand I mean, people, so, say, okay. and then the road well, becomes wet. Cool, yeah. Are you saying that I didn't have anything to do with that road becoming wet? I'm saying that no, because you guys created it specifically. The team at Yacht Club created Shovel Knight specifically with my money and other people. But it's money. not quite the same. The analogy is not watertight. You know what you uh, you can uh, use, ironically. Sorry, you, you just because you, you can probably use like voting and like you vote for a shitty president that moves in and does some shitty. Like you can use that. Yeah, probably. Like that's yeah, no, is, that's right? that's a much much I think, a more. Better analogy. I think I think yeah. that's more on point. And guess what? You're responsible for your political representatives' uh, decisions. I think um, just like I'm responsible for my economic representatives' decisions, I I don't agree. So well, I'll, that's I'll say, fine. Yeah. I go, here's the thing: you I, can ignore all guilt and responsibility all you want. It's not about fuck, uh, man. I, why, I got, why are you putting words in my mouth? I'm not. I yes, put words out of my mouth. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna stop, Pat. So I think I think like what it comes down to here is what you feel is like rage and upset. I feel bummed but ultimately i, I also got, feel bummed. but i got something out of it i got bummed as well i got bummed but i got something out of it the, the and only, the only thing that the I fun moments that i had i can't i'm not going to pretend i didn't have fun in those moments no, no, obviously not there no, were same, some moments yeah. that were enjoyable i am highly and, envious of both of you and i'm and I, about this and i'm bummed that we didn't get what we could have i'm bummed that i'm not going to pop it in again yeah, um, not for not until the second one comes out. If, like, you know what I mean? For many years, yeah. Um, or possibly they add those new, those other features that yeah, are worth taking spin on. And I'm I'm ultra bummed that like this and um um the the one fucking uh, Azure Striker Gunvolt oh, yeah. are both not the fucking badass Return of Mega Man that I was hoping we'd get. Yeah, I didn't so I'm still that. waiting on on fucking Mega Jesus. <laughs> I hear you there. The, you know the, I mean? the, the only the only thing that I'll say that I'm really like thrilled about this is, and I'm sure all of you know this and are annoyed by it, but I love being pissed about something and yeah. feeling righteous about yeah, it. Yeah, you do. And this is going to power me for a while, <laughs> for a long. Oh no! While. Like course, the, no, the fact that you said I wish I shat on it sooner betrays well, everything about what you like in life well like, i wanted to like this game. i really but, but, did but like, then then like you like you lamented like i had played the beta and i was like i'm not happy with this right now i'm glad that i'm not happy with it right now because if it had turned out like worse or the same then i would have been even more devastated later if i had never touched them be like i'm gonna play it at launch and i'll be really happy i'm sure i will you would have had that inkling i i I, like i at least have that inkling where i'm like okay i'm not gonna go like balls in like oh geez i can't wait i can't wait and then be Mm -hmm. disappointed again it would have been worse and then that's not a slight against my number nine in particular it's about any form of Mm -hmm. media you get it you know so uh